Hello my beautiful online babes and welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell from the title, I'm doing a quick get ready with me. So today's routine is just very easy, very neutral. As for my day, I will be filming some back-to-back -back footage of unboxing videos. So I'm gonna need some makeup on this mug. Okay, first things first, I will quickly cleanse my face with the Garnier Micellar Water. I'm just gonna refresh my skin because my natural oils started to come through so this is great it's very mild it literally just feels like like water but it takes off any residue any um, dirt oil leftover makeup and it's very very gentle even around the eye area so for my moisturizer I use the Cetaphil oil control this is SPF 30 and it's designed for oily skin and it's actually fairly inexpensive. It's like 10 bucks. It's a great price. So I just do two full pumps. And I actually mix this product in. This is the Drunk Elephant Debronze. Just because my cheeks and the center of my face um, are so much lighter than the rest of my body, this just allows me to match it up to my neck. Also, it eliminates the need for me to apply too much foundation. And that's why I like using it with the oil control moisturizer because it just balances out the formula. So it's not too matte, but it's also not overly shiny with just the deep bronze. I've been exfoliating my face quite a bit too, so you can see my skin is nice and smooth. Any excess, I just run through my neck, my chest. As for the under eyes, I'm just going to put some Shiseido Wrinkle Smoothing Eye Cream really quickly. So now that I have done my skincare, I'm going to quickly grab my e.l.f. I'm actually going to use the e.l.f. Putty Primer, the Poreless Putty Primer. I love this so far. Oops. Although I do wish I got the Acne one as opposed to the pour although i do find this really good i just prefer something with treatment in it this does feel like the tatcha primer it is such a good dupe of the tatcha primer it feels the same if anything this feels a little bit more emollient i find i'm all primed i'm just gonna grab my Lawless Beauty, this is the Conceal the Deal Foundation in Tawny. I used this in the first impressions video and I absolutely love it. So I actually like put it on the brush and then I strike it along my cheeks first. Build it up a little bit. Just in the middle. Guys, this foundation is so good. It's full coverage, but it is so lightweight. Like, look at that. And I just like to stipple it on and then blend it out. I just like blending so much. Wowzers, look at that skin. So for my cream bronzer, I'm using the Mario Soft Sculpt Medium Dark um, Shaping Stick. I went a little dark with my choice just because I do get really tan in the summer. Um, so I wanted something that would be, I wanted a color that I could use all year round. And I actually prefer to use a separate brush and stipple with it. I find if I put it directly onto my skin, it kind of wipes away my foundation. So I prefer to stipple it on. Oh, 
Okay, so concealer, um, I'm going to use two concealers. So I'm going to use the Kosas concealer first. This is in the shade number two. It's actually fairly light, but I just use a small amount. Like that in the inner corner and a little bit out here. I'm, I'm kind of losing my voice because I went to a drag show yesterday. It was my girlfriend's show and she fucking killed it on stage. Um, her and a bunch of her other drag friends performed like a bunch of pussy got doll songs and I was living with like my childhood all over again. I had so much fun. And while that sits, I'm gonna quickly, this is the Kimchi Chic The Most Concealer. I love this concealer so much. This is in the shade Medium Beige and I use this as my eye primer. So I go underneath my brow. And I'm doing my skin first on complexion just because when I have my complexion done, I find I don't do as dramatic eyes. When I do my eyes first, I find I get carried away and then I end up with something more dramatic. I also much prefer blending with a brush, but if I do grab a beauty blender, I grab the Kimchi Chic um, sponge it's so soft it's so soft so I'm just gonna stipple this upwards and then I'm gonna grab my sponge and lift that up So I like to just double down on a little bit of kimchi chic in the middle here. All right, I'm just gonna dab my under eye really quick. And then I have the Kosas Cloud Set. Um, I've talked about this many times in my older videos. I never run out and I use the shade breezy and I use my um, damp beauty blender and I press that in. See how bright and airbrushed that looks. It really gives me the illusion of like looking poreless. Okay, so that is the Kosas powder. Now I'm gonna grab a translucent powder. I'm gonna use the Kimchi Chic. So this is called the Puff Puff Pass powder in banana number two. I love this because it comes with a puff. I like the makeup quality of Kimchi's line because She's a drag queen, right? So she needs products that perform. And so this is like a guarantee. Look how nice that color is. And it's very smooth and velvety. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of like how the bake looks sometimes. It's very satisfying seeing it. So while I'm baking, I'm gonna quickly set the areas without the bake. So I like to use my Fenty Beauty Press Powder. This is the Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation in number 220. Okay, now I'm gonna quickly warm up the skin using the Bobbi Brown Bronzer. This is in number one natural. Warm. 
for blush, I'm going to try a new blush today. This is the Laura Mercier Blush Color Infusion in Pomegranate. I've had this in my makeup stash and I have not opened it up for some reason. I'm just going to use this angled Laura Mercier brush. But I will still add this baby pink just for an extra flush. You're probably like, she is crazy. She already looks psychotic. But. I just find layering lots of good powders will make your makeup last longer, especially when you do a setting spray. It just blends everything nicely. Okay, now for brows, I'm going to use the Benefit brow setter. I love this. This is so good. I've had this forever and it's still going. So I'm using this awesome pen from NYX. This is the Lift and Snatch um, brow tint pen. And This is my favorite everyday palette. This is the Morphe X Madison Beard Palette. So I love this. <laughs> She's been abused. But this is the best for neutrals. I love the quality. So I grabbed this flat, kind of flat head brush, but it's very skinny sideways. At the very tip of the brush, I just grab a small amount of concealer and I line underneath my brow. So to set the concealer, I grab this really light beige color in the palette. Now I grab a little bit more. I'm just going to use this very bright highlight in the Naked Heat palette to set my concealer shade. Look at that. Now I'm just going to dab a little bit on the brow bone just to brighten. I love a bright brow bone. Guys, look how nice that is. And one last swipe of this blending brush. Back and forth, just nice and easy and use the black eyeshadow as an eyeliner.
forgot to spray the Glam Guard. Mm. That just juiced up the skin even more. All right, babe, so this is the finished look. My little signature snatched, polished, cut crease neutral look with flawless complexion, very doll-like. All right, my beautiful online babes, that is today's makeup video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Follow me on all my social media handles. I will include them down below. Let me know in the comments how you liked this look and what kind of looks you want to see me do. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.